Good. Where's my coffee? Evening. We want to talk about the Amazon Echo vanity. I mean, look. So Amazon has a camera now that they call the look or the Echo look. Kitty, stop it. Hey, no. Based on the article that I read about it, it seems like it's a camera that will give you fashion advice, which to some, I think, would be quite beneficial, yeah. To others with thinner skin, it's not gonna be a good idea. The article on CNET says that the Echo Look, which includes the Alexa digital assistant and a camera, takes full body selfies to capture what you're wearing and provide feedback to help you decide between two outfits. So it's like a fashion hot or not. The Echo Look app doled out its fashion advice based on machine learning algorithms with advice from fashion specialists. So I'm, what I'm assuming that means is, is they consulted fashion specialists while designing their algorithm to pick which outfit suits you best. Yeah. Speaking of outfits, I just ordered the beamed up prototype hoodie and it should be arriving by the end of the year, early next year. Super pumped about that. It will be available for purchase, but it is not going to be cheap because that thing alone cost me over $40. So if you want to buy one, be prepared to spend like 45 maybe 50 after shipping is over. Anyways, on Monday of this week, Amazon sent a notice to Echo Look owners saying that their photos would, or that the device's app would then connect to Amazon Spark. It's a, an Instagram style social media platform that Amazon created for the shoppers. This will allow you to ask other users what you should don for those fancy or maybe not so fancy outings. That added integration will only work at this point for the Amazon or the Echo Looks iOS app, which is bullshit. The f man. Why are you gonna know? I understand that the market is a little bit more plentiful for the iOS stuff, but seriously, what about? I mean, does does this play into the supposition that iOS users are often higher income than Android users? Which really, I don't f understand because you know what? Your phones may cost seven hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars. Guess what? Samsungs do too. So this whole misconception about about Apple being for the rich and Android being for the poor. Like there's some Android fans that make comments in the videos and they, that they're talking about, oh, I'm not rich enough to own an iPhone. No, sir or ma'am, you have $650. You can get either a 600 to a thousand, whatever. You can get a flagship Samsung or a flagship Apple. It doesn't matter anymore about what the price is. Like the, that whole illusion wool bull that Apple's pulled over their customers' eyes and the general public's eyes needs to quit like if I could strike a match and burn that curtain I totally would because it's it's ridiculous that people think that iPhones are somehow only for people with money when in reality they're the same price thankfully the new feature isn't much different than the style check feature that they already had in the echo look so those that do not have iOS phones can still ask their friends whether to wear the polka dotted dress or the solid color dress. But I swear to God, if Amazon does not make the Echo Spark feature available for Android eventually, I'm gonna be mad. Apart from the dumb Apple exclusivity, as newfangled as it sounds, I'm really not that opposed to an idea like this because as more and more new things that center around social media come out, like maybe somebody, and they've probably already done this, but what if somebody creates an app called The Chew that you can post your dinner photos on a one of two dinner photos and then oh Sorry squeakers and then ask your neighbors, you know, which one should I make tonight? Should I go with the pork chop or should I go with the lentil soup? Pork chops or lentil soup? I don't think she cares. She just wants salmon. You just want the salmon. And for those who do not agree or think this these all these new mess that bleh, all these new methods of connecting people that seem totally gimmicky and dumb and a few of them might be but for those that think it's all a really really bad thing i'm not going to try to convince you otherwise but i will say that this is where the attention is going anyway oh the space station is overhead using IFTT or if this then that and the LifeX bulbs there's a condition in it in the if part if the International Space Station is above a specified location which in this case would be my house my lights will turn blue even though it looks purple on this screen I don't really know why does that help no 
But every time they turn blue, it means that there's something above us. I like that. If you can tell me which movie I just referenced, you get a good old attaboy, because it's cool. Computer, turn on studio mode. That's better. Okay. That's my two cents or three cents. And also, I will be debuting the Beamed Up hoodie whenever it arrives, as soon as it arrives, preferably. There's been a lot of financially related crap that I've had to sort out and that I'm still in the process of sorting out. Those of you who saw the live stream, the last 10 minutes of it will explain why. The last live stream, the one with me and Chris in it. But life will go on, and so will I. I also want to give some hefty props to K9Vox.com. They posted the last video that I made about Apple intentionally slowing down their phones. He embedded it in the website and everything, so I really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. The link to K9Vox is in the description. Why don't you stay beaming?